Hey guys, Oblivion here, coming at you with Duel with Wizcaster. He is a fellow Yu Gi Tuber. He plays Prophecies. He's been playing Prophecies since the release, so you know that he's a veteran. Um, you know, not really much I could say about it. This is going to be a full match for you guys. So you guys are going to see the deck list and all that. And we open up crap. Like, wow. Two Worm Kings and no traps. That is the worst possible hand I could ever see. So, uh, you know, let's see how bad we lose to a real Prophecy deck. So, I'm going to normal some of the sex. I'm going to see if the effect is fine. So I can let it go through. I'm gonna do my little plus one action here uh, to go and uh, get the Jaegen and to special summon it. Just a little plus one here, and then next turn I could flip it if he decides to normal summon anything. Depends on what he normal summons, of course, and then I could just, you know. So I'm gonna activate the Jaegen's effect since I do control only his Zex. You guys know this. Uh, I don't know why I'm just going through the effect. But yeah, uh, for those of you that don't know Worms, it depends on these two guys and then the Worm King, which unfortunately I drew, so I won't be special summoning any, um, I won't be special summoning any, uh, monsters from my Nebula, W Nebula Meteorite, because this is the main card you want to special summon. So now I've learned that I really, uh, I will probably cut down the Worm King to two. Okay, so he's gonna go for the. Yeah, he's gonna go for the prophecy, the high priestess prophecy, or the world of prophecy. Oh no, he's gonna attack. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna have to waste the lands because I don't want him to get the search off. Yeah, I don't want him to get the search off, and I especially don't want him to go main phase two into a uh, high priestess because I opened up really bad. I mean, really, the only card that could really make this that hand worthwhile would probably be uh, W Nebula Meteorite, just because. And I'm gonna MST this because it's probably a Phoenix Wind Blast, whatever. Uh, oh, bottomless. Okay. You know, uh, this house music is really not bad at all. And I think I'm gonna go for a. Uh... What can I go for? I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see a, uh, a W Nebula Meteorite. I'm thinking about going into King of the Feral Limps here, uh, kind of search out my deck, death, deck then as much as possible. Or I could go into my stroke, but then he'll probably just fade it in the end. And really my stroke isn't really good for, uh, for these guys right here. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go Omega gonna flip the Jaegen. I'm gonna go for the push here. No, I I'm sorry, I'm gonna go King of Furland. Just because, I if anything, I could always, uh, offering it with the Snake Deity. What am I thinking? I'm gonna overlay these guys. And go for the King of Furl. Okay, so it looks like we're making the best out of the situation. Uh, my next top decks are going to be traps, but unfortunately I always like to open up a handful of traps and like a Zex. That's like the best opening hand you could possibly get. And let's go for the Zex, of course. I, You know, I could have gone for the Cardos, I could have flipped it, and then I would have decked in the even more, but whatever. And I'm going to set the MST and the Offering, just in case he decides to do anything. And what does he have in the grave? He has a Temperance and a Power. Okay. So he's going to duality, so no special summoning this turn. We got a fate, a spell tower, and a temperance. I would go and get the spell tower. Personally, I would just kind of get my draw engine going, my recycling going, since he does have a power in his grave. I don't have to worry about like a special summon like Priestess or World of Prophecy. Okay, he's going to go for the temperance. That's another nice choice. Uh, you know, I'm not the most experienced. I'm not an inexperienced. Fuck, I've never played Prophecy, so don't even don't even rely on me for that. I'm just saying what I would have done if I played the deck. <laughs> but there you go, I'm just a bad player in general. Okay, so he has one set. Oh man, I'm thinking for a little imp here. I could go into... Oh, 
let's do this. That's probably a Raikou, because I know some some of them are actually mating Raikous to like get their engine started, like to get their their spells in the grave, and then to use your tower. Okay, so right now I'm just deck sending as much as I possibly can here. And I'm actually going to go for the Carteros. Just because next turn I could flip it and I could tell that he has two cards at hand and these two are not like power cards. And then I'm gonna go and activate Power Duality. Come on, give me a Nebula. Poker Moon, that's not bad. Dark Hole, not what I wanna see. Nebula, yes! Going to go and get this. That's exactly what I want to see. Unfortunately, I can't special anything. That's the depressing part. But I'm going to go and attack with uh, Feral Imp. Okay, and it was a Temperance. So, I know he does not have a monster in his hand. So, he probably has a handful of spells. Because he just picked up the Temperance from Duality. Okay, so right now... Right now, okay, we might have a shot here. He, might, he probably must have opened up really bad. But so did we. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I get to pop the two cards while he, uh, you know, during EP. I'm going to go and use Cardos' effect, and I'm going to search out my last Worm's X, I believe, that's in the deck. Whoa, okay, that's a little bit of lag, because I'm listening to uh, uh, house music on the background. My friends kind of got me into it. Draw, and no special summon. Man, no traps. I'm doing this, like, without, like, I'm doing a trap list right now. I'm going to go and use the effect here. Wow, I actually have less cards in the deck than, uh, <laughs> than Prophecy. That usually never happens. And I'm going to go and get a Carteros to hand, just because I want to dump the Yagans via Zex's effect. Yeah, okay, we're gonna... Um... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, yeah, I kinda sorta have a plan here. We're gonna normal summon the Zex. Let's see if the summon is fine. Torrential. Fuck! That's what I did not want. Ah, oh, man. That's a piss off for me, but, uh, that's for me being cocky. I, I knew it. That I knew that that was a trap, but I was like, eh, he has a handful of spells. Can't be anything bad. But okay. We're gonna normal summon the Zex. I almost want to go for the Nebula to see if I could pull off another Nebula play. Well, I'm going to play it smart here. I'm going to go for the Zex effect. Okay, and I'm going to go and dump the Yagen. And then I'm going to go and bring back Yagen because of its effect. Right now, I can't believe we're actually pulling this off. To be honest, I, I actually should have lost this game because of how badly I opened up. Okay, and attack. And let me set the pot of duality as a bluff. So it might affect, like, he MSTs or something, uh, he won't hit my defensive traps that I have set. Okay, so he's looking at his, so he probably has a fate at hand. Oh, well, okay, I got, I got the book move. Unless he's in a scoop right here. Okay, guys, so bear... Okay guys, back for round two. Like I said, this is going to be a whole full match, so expect this to be a very long video. I just want to show the powers of Worm. Okay, and we open up a lot better, at least with the Nebula, so we can get our draw engine going. Okay, so he's going to go for the Crescent. It's uh, probably going to be the standard 1-2 uh, secrets. Yeah. I really like it more on Death Pro, just because on Death Pro you can actually have it. So... 
I'm just gonna wait and call out what he's gonna like name him. It's probably the standard one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, five, six being tower, three, four being masters, and then one, two being secrets. Okay, so I'm ready to Valor his uh, magician. Yep, figures. Five, okay, so he's gonna get the tower to hand, that's fine. As long as he doesn't have another secret at hand to get his engine kickstarting, then I will feel happy. Okay. Where well, it looks like... Um... I'll Valor. Just because YOLO. I was... Man, I, do, should I have wasted the Valor on the Temperance? I mean, uh, should I have used the Valor on the Temperance? I maybe should have saved the Valor. No, because then he would have decked in, and then he would have set up for a Fate play. Yeah, I did the right move there. Oh, Thunder King. Oh, God. Okay, from the bottom, then draw one card. When this card is destroyed by your opponent, and sent to the Garrus for summoning one Spellcaster monster, I have to get rid of that. Just because it starts to accumulate really badly. Or should I waste it on the... On the... Let's go and do this. <laughs> I got this, I think. Um, let's go, set this. I'm not going to set the nebula just in case. I don't want him to, uh, you know, again, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, you know, he probably doesn't want a level one tuner, uh, uh, spellcaster. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm thinking if uh, this is inherent. If he decides to attack, I'll just lance it again. <laughs> oh god. So, I'm such a troll. Wisdom. Except it was, yeah, for the sex. Ah, uh, another MST. So I got a T King on board. It's okay, he, uh, 2K? 1200? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, from the uh, Lance and the uh, Spillbook of Power. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, the rating resets when I'm in match. Okay, so I'm gonna go and attack with the Thunder King. So. I'm assuming he'll just take the 700, uh, you know, unless he's like lagging. And if he's lagging, I'll just pause the video real quick and then it'll get back to you. It'll be like nothing. So, yeah, it looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. So, give me one second, guys. You guys won't even know the difference. There you go. There you go. He's back. So, battle phase, attack for the 19. Main phase 2. Yeah, I'm gonna save the Zex. That's the last, that's the first thing I want. I wanna save the Zex. He can't search because of T-King. Okay, so he's, he's gonna banish... Uh, yeah, that's what I was expecting. He had to do that. Now he could get his engine kickstarting. Kickstarted, I'm sorry. Okay. 
I was gonna go for the secret. Oh man, unfortunately, he had to do that. Whatever. So maybe he did a slight misplay, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Master, sure, he's gonna reveal one. He's just gonna go for his standard play here to get the fate. He's gonna set up for a fate play. Let me see, fate has to... Okay. I'm just, I'll just end up banishing the fate. I mean, not banishing, I'm just the fate, because I want my nebula to go through. Man, I didn't draw into my side deck card. I cited, um... Oh, fuck. Oh, um, please don't take the Veiler. Don't take the Veiler. Okay, great. <sighs> okay, so uh, what I said against them was uh, Fossil Dinas. I took out a Worm King for... Yeah, for the Fossil Dinas. I also did uh, two, um, two DNA Surgery. Cause that really messes up their play because you just call like reptiles or whatever divine beasts and uh you know uh they can't use any other spells like fate because you need to control uh a spellcaster monster okay I'm gonna go for the effect do i have any yagans in the grave no i do not okay I'm gonna special summon the yagan here Set, set, battle phase, attack. Perfect. So now, as long as he does not get like a secret or anything like that, or he doesn't top deck a, ma a magician, then I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Because I have a nebula um, and, uh, you know, stuff. So he's going to go for the tower effect. Okay, so please don't let it be a monster or a secret. Oh, come on, man. Or give me a DNA surgery. Vanish one spellcaster type monster. What's it gonna go for? Temperance? Is Temperance in the grave? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna go for the temperance. He's probably gonna bring out the priestess. With priestess, uh, I'll end up bouncing it back to hand, since he won't have uh, three thingies to to uh, reveal for her. I'll just bring it back to her hand, and then I'll push for the game to, uh, next turn. So he's gonna banish. I'm waiting for her to banish, and then give me the target. Chain perfect. Okay, so Yegan's effect to bounce back the high priestess. And then during my end phase, I set both of them, draw two, and then special summon out the Worm King. Wow, I'm actually doing this with basically even without a side. I have not drawn into any of my side deck cards. Nebula. Set, set, please don't Worm King, don't give me a Worm King. That's not bad. And I'll special out the Worm King. Okay, so I'm gonna go and make the push for game. Here. Uh, you know what I realize is kind of like it's vagina. That's <laughs> such a child. Okay, perfect. Flip. Flip. Going for the push. I'm going for the attack here. Yes. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this match against Prophecy. He is a true Prophecy veteran, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This has been Oblivion. Catch you guys later. Deuces.